and welcome back to the channel. So today we're doing a little bit of a DIY because your girl loves a good DIY. So you can see the messy apartment. <laughs> Oops. Uh, so this is what we're doing. All right. So here I've been seeing all these pictures of like plaster. I guess it's just like plaster art, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Um, and I really like it. So I thought I would do one as you can see here. I did my own little take on it and I have this blank one that I'm going to do today. I'm going to show you how I did it because I don't know. I think it ended up being pretty cute and it's actually going to go above the couch here. But for now, I have it on here until we get our walls or our mirror, our mirror on the wall. So that's what we're going to be doing. So yeah, if you want to keep watching, want to see how it's done. Um, I'm not a professional. I literally just bought some plaster and went to it. So. Okay, so literally all I used for this was three products. This I already have, but I'm pretty sure it's from a set from the dollar store. It is just a Betty Crocker. It's supposed to be for um, cakes, uh, for icing. And then I got this bad boy from the dollar store for $4. It is, what are the dimensions for this? 45.7 centimeters by 61 centimeters or 18 by 24 inches. So it's, I think it's the biggest one they have. So I got two of those. And then I just bought some spackle from the hardware store. What is it called? Brain work. Uh, Home Depot. Cause Canadian, I don't know. I think that's a Canadian thing, I'm not really sure. But anyways, so the fun thing about spackle is it's actually pink until it dries, and then it dries into a white, as you can see. So I think it actually helps that it is pink because you can kind of see, and then you can kind of play with it as it's pink. It does take a while to dry, so you don't have to work too fast, which is also good. Um, but I will grab my laptop to show you the picture that I'm actually doing and then, yeah. Okay, so this is the picture that I'm kind of be gonna go, that I'm gonna kind of be going with. Um, so we're gonna do probably from like only like here down. So I wanna do, my other one is kind of like, you can't tell at all really what it is in the picture, but I just like to have some kind of idea of like which way to like put the lines and everything. Um, so I'm kind of kind of do the bottom of a woman. I did the top of a woman on the other one. Uh, just like a nice curve to it. And then also the draping here, I think is like kind of cute. So I'm gonna loosely follow the lines for this one. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so I've got my spackle open here. Let's take oh, this off. Okay, and now I'm just going to change the room so y'all can see. All right, so here we go. I'm just going to start by dumping or spreading, whatever that is, just a bunch of it on there just to get a good base to start out with before we start in with the shapes and lines and all that. So as you can see, I got a decent amount on there and now I'm just spreading it out just getting a nice base on there. You don't want any of that waffle texture from the canvas poking through uh, when you start to scrape at your lines and kind of add those shapes to it. So this is hopefully going to limit that. So I'm just spreading it all out. Zoom, 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 sped it up a lot here because it took a while. And that looks like a pretty good base to me. So now I'm just adding a big chonky thing to start working on that fabric piece that's hanging down from her body. And I kind of dumped a little bit in the middle there as you can see that I was working off of what I needed a little bit more, which is kind of helpful because it is a little bit hard to scoop out from the uh, container there just because it's all like one big glop. If you put it on your canvas, it's easier to kind of reach for. So 
So as you can see, I'm really working that right hand side there. I really wasn't happy with it and I had to keep going back in and adding and like scraping and adding and scraping till I got like a nice shape that I liked. So that's kind of what I was saying before when I really liked how it was that pink color and you can see when it's drying and you can see that it's still dark pink. You know, it's easy to work with and all that. You don't have to be scared that it is dry or starting to dry and starting to get little like chonkies in there, which does kind of at the end and I, you can kind of see me smoothing out and I'll show you that. All right, so now we're working on the booty. This is probably the hardest part for me. I don't know, to get that like fun little line there was kind of hard. As you can see, I had to speed it up quite a lot because it took so long. I put her elbow there, didn't like that. So, and as you can see, that's kind of the end of it there. And it doesn't really look like the picture at all. It's just a nice reference to have so you can see which way you want to play with it. And I'm just going in with my finger to really get those edges because I don't really want any of that waffle texture peeking through, especially on the front. And then I'm kind of bringing it to the side just a little bit because you can see that when it's hanging up. And I don't want it to be like a clean canvas over there. I want like it to be messy and have pieces of plaster off of it. I'm really scraping the bottom container. I literally used all that I could to do this. So now I'm just kind of smoothing it out. I also used my finger to smooth it out a little bit too. I don't know if I already did that. Um, but there was just like some chonkies. I think the top of where those really thick bits are kind of started to dry. And then when I went in to fix them, I kind of started sticking to it kind of funny but yeah your finger cleans it right up and you can't really tell when it's dried anyway so not a big deal all right so we are all done you kind of saw the last results but i'll give you like a little a little show so that is the finished product it's very loosely on you know the picture it's just something to give you a little direction so wow someone just slammed their door it's so loud yeah, so I'm gonna wait for that to all dry. I'll show you what it looks like dried and all that, but yeah, I actually, that one's really cool. I think those are gonna go really nicely together. I tried to make this one a little bit more 3D. As you can see, like the lines I use, they really pop. I guess I'll show you what I mean. Like these ones here, they really swoop. I try to make them really stand out because as you can see, like on this one, I don't really have as many. Ooh you know, and it just kind of blends in a little bit more flat because it is going to be all white when it's dried. I just wanted it to pop a little bit more. So I'm hoping these lines here will do a little something, something for it, you know? I also used like the full thing. I was scraping it there at the end. So I used one of these for both of them. I think it was like $7 too. So that's not bad at all. And yeah, I'm going to find the original artist because I would like to accredit them for, you know, this is a hugely popular thing. I'm actually kind of curious who came up with this. So I found a couple of artists. This first one and the last one are both Marble Wish, and the second one is Texture House, and they're both found on Etsy if you guys are interested in buying one because you don't want to make one. But I couldn't find the original artist, so this is what I found. So I'll have them and maybe like some of their art down below. Like obviously, you know, I would love if I could afford to buy that, but I'm a student and that's just like not realistic. So this is kind of the best we have. And yeah, I don't want to steal anyone's ideas or anything. So, but I think as they say, the best form of flattery is like copying, right? So. Uh. One part I just wanted to smooth out a little bit and it's like half dried so it's kind of not working. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna stop touching it. Um, but yeah, so any questions or anything like that just comment down below and I'll get back to you and I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see y'all next time for another DIY because I've got a lot coming. 
also I would just like to quickly add that cleanups really easily easily easy it's basically just plaster that we're using uh, so it's water soluble you just clean it up with a rag and water and you're you're good to go so it's not messy and then if you do want to seal it you could do like a white paint over it and that'll kind of like lock it in so it doesn't chip away at you if you touch it or something but it is pretty strong like it's not just gonna like start crumpling off the wall <laughs> uh, but yeah just for you know just let you know so ciao for now I'll see you later.